oh my god, I look terrible. But that'll be because I just woke up. So, as you can tell from the title of this video, I am going on a little adventure today. It is ten past nine on Thursday the 15th of June and tonight I'm going to a book signing for Juno Dawson for this book right here and I'm a little nervous and quite anxious because I'm going on my own because I got sick of not having anyone to go to events with and then missing out on them because of that reason so I went to the Tom Fletcher signing last year on my own so I know that I can do it and so yeah I'm going to that this evening um, as you can tell my hair desperately needs doing um, and I have a hair appointment today for that which I'm kind of regretting now because I wanted to have more time in Leeds which I'm not going to get now because my appointment isn't until 2 o'clock so roughly with how long it takes my hair to get done I could, the latest that I could be out would be 4 o'clock and then the next train would get me in for um, 10 past 5 and then the signing starts at half past 6 and because I'm on my own I want to be in and out as quick as possible for the actual signing part because I think there's a Q&A as well but either way I want to be in and out as quick as possible because when I went to the Tom Fletcher one I was there for like two and a half hours just queuing so I don't particularly want to be doing that on my own today's going to be fairly boring I'm just going to get some I'm just going to go get some um, work on my book done since today is my day off um, so the next time that I check in with you will probably be after I've had my hair done so I will see you in a few seconds. This doesn't look like I just had my hair done. Surprise! I'm back a little bit sooner than I expected because I have a little update to my situation. I was talking to my dad about how many events I've missed out on in the past because nobody would go with me and how I'm going to this thing on my own tonight and I'm hoping that I'll be in and out as quick as possible because of that reason. And he said he would go with me but not just go with me to Leeds go with me to the actual event as well which shocked me for a number of reasons but first there were actually still tickets available for this which means it isn't sold out so I have no idea how many people are going to be there at all but I might should get him a ticket because they're like the e-ticket things that you buy and then print off so I don't need to go and pick anything up when I'm there but yeah, my dad is not the most liberally minded person. He's quite rigid in his opinions on things. So the fact that he wants to go with me to a book signing about a book that is literally called The Gender Games and has been written by a trans woman and she's going to be there tonight obviously talking a lot about the issues she's faced with her transition it seems kind of strange to me that he's willing to go and do that and obviously I want to express here in case any of you are thinking what on earth is she doing um, my dad is not the kind of person to ever say straight to someone's face what he thinks about them when it comes to things like race and sexuality he would never actively say what he really thinks to someone so it is going to be a safe space for Juno I if he was that kind of person I wouldn't put myself through that and I especially wouldn't put Juno through that so if he does have any views either way either positive or negative coming out he will say them after the event when Juno is not there or anything and this is just the absolute mess of my work station 
at the minute. I've been doing some work on my book, like I said. This is like, I've literally, this is all that I've managed to get done today um, before I had to go out and get petrol and I'm just catching up on Pretty Little Liars and transferring some of my notes and what I've written from here onto my computer because that's how I work when I'm writing. So yeah, this is definitely going to be the last update before I go and get my hair done because it's nearly 12 o'clock. Yeah, it's, it's 20 to 12 and I need to get some work done before I go to the hairdressers because I'm only really going to read while in the hairdressers and then change of plans, I'm now coming back here so I will have a chance to hopefully get changed and then me and my dad are driving to the train station and then getting the train there because there's no point us taking separate cars so I just need to print off his ticket and who knew a Thursday could be so exciting and I'm sorry I keep looking at this viewfinder thing it's a new camera and I'm not used to being able to see myself so I keep looking at that like that is where the camera is Ugh. but anyway yeah so I'm gonna go now and the next time you see me I will have had my hair done <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to introduce uh, Tom William <coughs> from the Freedom Quarter. He's going to be interviewing Juno. But you guys come over. <laughs> Everyone clap. <laughs> so, I've been introduced. Uh, this is Juno Dawson, author of the Gender Games. Um, nice to see some of you got your copies already. Um, Tell us about the Freedom Quarter, Tom. Freedom Quarter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Freedom Quarter is a website for LGBT people in Leeds. Uh, it was rebranded about six months ago from um, a brand called Gay Leeds. We wanted to kind of come away from the definitions of gay and just you know kind of break through them stereotypes. Um, we've advertised a lot of different um, 
events, community groups, uh, support networks, it just goes on and on. The amount of emails that come through and there's, there's, there's stuff that you know we, we advertise, is, we're trying to aim for everybody moving forward. So, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> Um, so we're going to just do some questions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just start. Yeah. Yeah. launch away. Okay. Um, what inspired you to write a uh, no holds barred book about your journey? <gasps> this one. You mean this one? <laughs> the Gender Games by Juno Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> Available today. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So. Um, we didn't even talk about doing a reading. Shall I do a reading? Yeah. Should I do a reading? Yeah. Do we want to? Okay, I'll do a very, very small reading, because actually the problem with being read to is that you were probably, if such a child had existed for you, you were probably read to as a child at bedtime. And so I think sometimes being read to is the best way to send people straight to sleep. Um, <laughs> in your mus and have you ever done like a reading with an, an American author? It's really weird, like even like, it's like you meet Cassandra Clare or Maureen Johnson, they're like, hi you guys, I'm so amped to be in London. It was a darkened night. Like, oh, stay awake, oh, stay awake. <laughs> with Technicolor HD hindsight, it's clear my struggle with gender started the day I was born into a world he'd already done a real number on. So it is necessary to go back to the start. Jesus knows I did not want to write a memoir. I think a person should be over 80 before they are allowed to write a memoir, unless, number one, you are a Spice Girl, <laughs> or number two, you have shaped or changed history in some way, like the Spice Girls. <laughs> I do not claim to have done any of these things. For me, slap bang in the middle of a gender transition, transitioning is actually incredibly tedious. In fact, I'd give anything to have a day off, to be honest. That being said, number one, childhood stories are relatable and I really want you to like me. Number two, Gender is a total paedophile. Gender fucks kids. I was fucked by gender as a kid. You were fucked by gender, and this happened in childhood. Therefore, grudgingly, I accept we might need to explore my childhood in order to understand how I became the most beautiful transsexual in her. <laughs> or something. <laughs> I know you off of Twitter. Thank you for coming. I just want to say I want to thank you for the first time. Who's got like the bisexual kind of shunned in a sense? And you know, I just want to thank you. You're like, you're the last. I know. Thank you. My boyfriend for three years. I'll say you're not by anymore. You know, I find myself kind of coming up a firm that I still have, like I have moments where I go, wait, I'm not and then, I'll see, and then I'll see people like Chris Sarris and I'm like, that's definitely the case, but when I went to university it was a much more liberal place, but there were still people within that community that I found that were like, you know, you can't just go and cry because... You're with a guy now. That's exactly. such bullshit. So I've, like, such bullshit. So I've, I've never been surprised because I'm afraid of what would happen. I did you know, even on my own without my partner. I feel almost well, like if, if they're doing a good job as a pride, then it should be in fully inclusive of the B and the P. So you hope. But no, it's, no, it's difficult. And again, that is certainly very often when I talk about. So the L G B, I, I really yeah. mean L and G, so, because yeah. I think the L and the G have a kind yeah. of security yeah. in the community. Yeah, yeah. 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 but yeah. I'm yeah. definitely yeah. planning on going this year. Yeah, another one in my back. So, I pray. I am back as you can tell from the Juno Dawson event and it was so much fun she's so hilarious so 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 funny I just I don't think I've ever laughed at a book event that much in my life and it was so educational as well but just so funny I love Juno's personality so much and my dad actually really enjoyed it as well my dad came away from it actually learning and understanding things a lot more so naive 
optimistic little me from a few clips ago was right. <laughs> so yeah, I'm like surprised that he enjoyed himself as much as he did. And yeah, and also when I met Juno, she actually knew who I was, which was scary because um, she took my book and she was like, who am I signing it to? And I was like, oh, Charlotte. And she was like, oh yeah, Charlotte Selby. And I was just like, what? And she was like, oh, I, she was like, I know you from Twitter. And I was just like, she said that she'd seen me on Twitter a lot, which is probably a sign that I should maybe spend a lot less time on Twitter. And also makes me worry about how much I've been like, tweeting her as well that she like recognized me straight away from that as well so yeah but it's been so fulfilling so so much fun and I just oh I'm so happy it's been such a nice wonderful day so I hope you've enjoyed joining me on this little bookish adventure and I will be back with a new video soon at some point and I will end this little video with the picture that I got with Juno as well. So see you soon. Bye!